Good morning everybody and welcome. It's Wednesday, which is a little different. Um, we have done a swap, Kitty and I, so um, she'll be with you on Friday because I'll be on my way down to Clacton. So how are you all this morning? Um, I don't think we'll have the same issues as we did um, during my last live with the shadow because it's a rather dull looking day here today. Um, but we are going to add a little bit of sparkle. Um, so we've got beautiful gemstone headbands, which I'm modelling here for you. Um, oh, a long time ago, it was probably about a year ago now, when I first did um, Sunday Beader and I met you all. Um, I was showing some of the makes and things that I've been doing and a lot of you seem to like this um, and ask for a tutorial on it. Um, so I didn't forget, we thought, let's do that. Um, it's a really simple, easy um, way to make a headband. They don't need any glue. You just need a little bit of wire and some beautiful gemstone chips and there are loads for you to choose from. Um, so I'm very excited about these today. Um, I think they're perfect to add that little bit of um, sparkle for a party, um, perfect for Christmas. I know I always say they make brilliant gifts, um, but literally everybody I know I've made one of these for. Um, I went to my niece's birthday party the other day and I spotted um, her elder sister wearing one I made for um, my sister. So she'd stolen a mum's. Um, so she's going to get one. Um, as is her other sister for Christmas from me this year. I've gifted lots to friends um, and everybody seems to like them. Um, so this is what we're doing today. Um, I know a few of you wanted to do things like tiaras. So this is kind of a little bit similar, uh, like an easy make one. So good morning to Charlotte. <laughs> Lucy says, good morning. Um, you threw me off this morning. I was expecting Kitty. No Kitty today. Um, she's very busy. I'd love to say she deserves a day off, but I know she's, in, um, she's been in the warehouse and she's been getting an awful lot of stuff ready. So uh, it's me today. Good morning to Anne. Uh, good morning, Rachel. Uh, she says she's placed her order already. You eager beaver, Rachel. I can't wait to show you on the site. There's there's just so many and you know I love my gemstones and I love my gem chips they're just beautiful I love the fact that they all come in different sizes each one of them's got a slightly different color to them um and that's without talking about all the properties and things like that which I think go with them um so yeah very excited for today um Lucy says I'm now confused with my days don't Lucy because I really am as well um my little one's gone to nursery today so I could be with you this morning um, and he doesn't usually go on a Wednesday so I'm completely thrown off. Um, I've got a lot of packing to do and organising to do when I finish this live to get ready for Friday because when he's with me I don't get a minute to do anything um, and I'm also picking my nieces up this afternoon so um, a jam-packed busy day and I have to keep reminding myself it's Wednesday. Good morning Jitty my lovely, how are you doing today? Good morning to Jan. Uh, she says, weather's not too bad here. It'll probably go really sunny again, won't it? But it's it's dark and it's dull here. Good morning to Edward. I hope you're okay. Good morning to Aline. Good morning to Camille. Uh, she's also surprised to see me instead of Kitty. Well, don't disappear. I promise you'll love this one. Uh, good morning to Gwen. Good morning to Karen. Uh, she says, it's 5 a.m. here in Maryland, USA. I'll whisper a little bit for you, Karen, then. So if you're watching, you're not going to wake anybody else up because um, I can be quite loud, can't I? We know that. Uh, good morning to Elaine. Good morning to Carol. Uh, she says, good morning to Natalie and our beading family. Dull, damp day here in Brixham. Um, an ideal beading day. It absolutely is. And this won't take you too long either. So if you um, have these materials um, or you could just spend the morning just choosing which ones you want to pick. Good morning to Jackie. Uh, Lucy says, oh, princess tiaras. Good morning to Sue. Um, I've also, I've, th I've thrown everybody off, I think. Good morning, Hannah. Um, Sue says it's a little bit overcast in stains today, um, but I'm looking forward to going to Knit and Natter this afternoon. Oh, that'll be fun. Uh, I love that name, Knit and Natter. Um, or it could be, or it depends what you're knitting, it could be Woolly Wednesdays, couldn't it? Um, good morning to Aline. She says, um, perfect gifts for my nieces. 
just hope the mail delivers before Christmas. I don't know where you are, but it, it definitely will. Um, I, I, I don't think I've ever waited a week for anything from Totally Beads. They are, they're like machines in the warehouse. They get everything packed and ready to go really quickly. Um, Lucy says, busy day for you. I showered and got back into my pyjamas. I showered and then thought, well, I'm going to need to wash my hair because I'm showing off my hair bands today. Um, just ignore my roots. Uh, good morning, Kitty. Good. She's asking, how is everybody? Um, so see, she is here. She's just, you, you're just seeing me instead. Uh, good morning to Carol. Um, and everybody's saying hello back to Kitty. Um, all right. Okay. Elaine says, um, I haven't had posts for three weeks where I live in Chelmsford due to issues with the sorting office. Oh dear. Um, I think everything's still having a knock on effect, isn't it? Hopefully, fingers crossed, you've still got a few weeks to go before Christmas. Yeah. I can't believe it. We're already like, you know, way into November now. Um, good morning to Gwen. Okay, let's get um website matt website matt i'll show you the website and i can have a little sip of drink um while i am good morning debbie while i am showing you all the goodies so today if you go on to our wonderful uh totallybeads.co.uk website you can click into your video tutorial category here or you can scroll down here and you are clicking to the gemstone headbands I apologise for the quality of that photograph. That is one I've sent showing some of the samples. My Christmas tree's behind it, so the lighting is not that good on that photograph. Um, the Christmas tree isn't up at the moment, but as you can see, I've been doing these for about a year now. It's been a little while since I've done one, um, but I absolutely love them. They are timeless pieces. So today we're going to be using the 0.5mm silver um, wire that's going to go with your headbands that you can choose from and that's just £2.50 and you've got an array of gemstone chips to choose from. I think they're all 32 inch strings. They do slightly vary in price because obviously some gemstones are a lot more um, valuable and sought after um, but they're all absolutely beautiful quality so you could choose from amethyst, carnelian, um, dark amethyst, fluorite, you could choose a selection. Uh, you could make yourself kind of like a rainbow coloured one or a chakra coloured one. Um, the garnet's beautiful. To me, the garnet chips are more like little nuggets. They're, I'll show you the difference with the sample that I've got here. They are so pretty. You can have Indian Agate, which has got an array of different colours running through it. The pink opal I had, and I desperately want to get some pink opal now. Um, rose quartz is always one of my go-tos. It's a beautiful gemstone. It signifies love and friendship um, and self-love too. So I love a rose quartz. Sodalite is beautiful. I love the different colours that you get through there. You get a lot of whites, dark blues, light blues, really pretty. And you can choose from your different size headbands as well. So we've got a four millimetre, a six millimetre and an eight millimetre to choose from. And they will all work exactly the same. It just depends on how thick you like your hairband, really. The one I'm wearing is, um, I think that's the four mil one. Um, but I've got some eight ones here as well to show you. So I can show you the difference in thickness. However, if there is a stone which you think, mm, I would like this particular colour, or I wonder if there's that, like you haven't got enough to choose from in there. If you go on to our categories, let me find, you could, you could go down here and you could see them there and you can click semi-precious gemstones and you can search by name if you want to or you can just click on gemstone chips here and look at the difference in terms of the amount of different ones you can choose from. There's Amsonite, there's all sorts, there's aquamarine, I didn't know we had them. I spotted kyanite as well before. I didn't know we had kyanite. What have I been doing while I've been in the warehouse? I'm gonna have an absolute field day when I go down again, aren't I, this weekend. Look at them all, 
There's so many. Look at the green turquoise highlight. Ooh, there's the kyanite. I love kyanite. You can see how excited I'm getting. I'm talking like a million miles an hour. If you wanted kind of a rainbow one, you could also choose the mix um, crackle crystals, or you can choose them as of mixed ones there as well. Oh, the moonstone's out of stock. There's a surprise. Or you can get this one instead. That's moonstone too. You might have somebody in mind to make for, and you might think their birthday um, is a peridot stone, so you could get one of those. Look at them all. There's just pages and pages of be Look at the colour of them. So as you can see, I am very excited. There's a few that are out of stock, um, and that might be because I've purchased them all in the past. <laughs> um, yeah, if you ever see my basket, my basket doesn't show on this on my phone. My basket's always full and I've always got some stones in there. So as you can see, we have loads for you to choose from today. Um, let me have a little look what comments I've missed. Good morning, Mina. Good morning, Lisa. Um, she says, morning, all you lovely beaders. Absolutely shattered now. So quiet hour watching you, Natalie quiet hour okay i'll speak quietly for you again lisa i can't speak quiet when there's gemstones i'm just too excited lucy is kindly sharing the link for you today for the gemstone headbands that we're making um you're saying good morning to each other um just reading some of the things that you're doing and um, would a one wheel would one reel of wire be enough for three headbands? I think it probably would. How much do you get on your reels? Is it, oh, I want to say, but I'm going to say seven. I'd have to check again for you. It depends on how full you want your headband. For something like this, which I'll show you exactly where I start it, where I finish it, I tend to use about 200 centimeters of the wire, um, which is what, two meters, or I do like two and a bit arm lengths. Um, I always want to make sure I've got more than what I'm going to need because you can carry it on if, if you run out and you can start it again, but it's just easy to do one continuous wrap all the way along the top. Um, your gemstones, I mean, your strands are just super long. And I would say there's maybe about 30 on this one. Um, but again um it will depend on the size of the gemstones that you choose some are smaller some are larger if i can quickly go back onto the website for you let me just have a little look so for example let's go back into our categories go back to the beginning click on our video tutorials let's see just how many you get on a string here. So say we're going to go for the amethyst because that's stunning. Um, you're going to get about 200 chips on one string. And on your wire, you have, does it say? Yes, yeah, seven meters. I was right. Um, so, yeah, I think you would get about three headbands. Again, it does depend um, how much you want to um spread those gemstones across you might just want to do a section at the top but they're really lovely i mean my hair's down today but if you were wearing an updo um you know maybe bridesmaids or something like that i think they're really really pretty um you're all having a chit chat to each other lucy you can't ask me that what's my favorite gemstone i go through phases and some things that i never used to like as much i now really really like um so I like my malachite. Um, I've got a moldavite, which is a little bit special. I love blues, so turquoisey colours, uh, lapis. I'm always drawn to amethysts. It depends on on what it is I'm looking at. Um, I've got a beautiful um, citrine tower, which is stunning. It's got little rainbows in it. Um, I've got some gorgeous amethyst druzy, which is like little crystals within it, little formations. So it it depends on my mood. Um, obviously, if you're a bit like me and you're a bit of a hippie and you buy into this, which I really do, um, 
I think you are drawn to the things that you need. So um, I feel like your body has like different energies and you can draw from different energies of the crystals. Um, but we won't get into that because we'll be here all day. Um, Lucy, there's a surprise. She says, um, my favourite rose quartz. Is it quite a bit pink? Is that why? You'd also like the cherry quartz then, I think, as well, Lucy. Um, order placed, which is fantastic. I do think you'll get three out of this. Um, but as I say, I'll show you how you place it. What's the gemstone for June? Ooh, off the top of my head, I can't remember, Camille. I will find out and I will look for you. Um, there's traditional um, stones, so you'll have like your diamonds, your rubies, things like that. Um, but there's also gemstones attributed as well. So you might have, um, I don't know, it might be diamond traditionally and you might have, uh, I don't know, a howlite or something. But I'll find out specifically for you. There you go. Look at that. <laughs> Lucy's on it. That's a very, very expensive gemstone, Alexandrite. So um, if you can find that and it's a genuine one, um, then good luck to you. Um, that is a stone that it changes colour. So um, there's different deposits of it in the world. You can find it in India and places like that. But I think it mainly comes from Russia. And in some lights, it looks red. In some lights, it looks green. Um, it's beautiful. Uh, Camille saying, how did you know that? Uh, so Kitty's answering exactly what we've just been looking at, how much is on um, the five, 0.5 wire is seven metres. Um, you're all talking now about which gemstones are what. Um, June actually has three different stones. I learn something new every day. There you go, Lucy. Thank you for having a little um, search engine find for us. And you get 80 centimetres, Kitty says, um, of the gemstone chip approximately it's hard to say how many exactly you're going to get on each string and i will show you why because they are different sizes they are irregular and that is the beauty of a gemstone chip um i mean you could do this with beads you could do it with gemstone beads as well but i like i like the, the chips on this i like the the shape they give and the the depth and things that they give um so you're all having now a chat about different birthstones which is lovely um, apparently pale and moonstone as well for you Camille um, I love moonstone did I forget to say moonstone and Peter's eye did I forget to say that <laughs> and tiger's eye <laughs> I'll be here all day okay so I'm gonna just check if I've missed anything good morning to you from Ontario Canada fantastic look we're global again that's lovely um Camille's laughing she's um typical I always go for the expensive ones you've got expensive taste Camille that's all it is you're a high quality lady um okay right let me take you down to the mat so if I can click on these beauties I mean I don't know how I'm going to choose what to demo with today I think I'll probably go for the sodalite because that would match my jumper um, and I'll show you some of the ones I've done. So in terms of your gemstone chips, on one strand, every gemstone is different. They all come with different shades in them. And, you know, because they're natural, they're natural stones. So they will be different sizes. You'll have a hole that runs all the way through them. Um, and they are just beautiful. If you were to get something like your blue gold stone, now this is a man-made stone. I need to be able to show you the twinkles in this. They are stunning. So you can get gold stone in gold. You can get it in blue. You can get it in green. Um, this has got like lots of little speckles. So I think for the um, for gold colored gold stone, which is like a reddishy color, that's like little bits of flecks of copper in it. But you can see here, can you see here? Can you see how twinkly it is? It's like a very deep navy blue. And that's just gorgeous. Um, your malachite. Now, malachite is, is a very expensive gemstone. So you're getting an absolute bargain here, especially for the amount of chips that are on this strand. This is a gorgeous green. And it's got beautiful natural bands running through it as well look at them they're so lovely i'll be here all day if i was just to show you the difference in the gemstones but this is what i'm talking about it depends in terms of how many you're going to use because some of them are smaller 
some of them are wider and chunkier this one's the rose quartz which has got a lovely pale pink running through it i wonder how much it would cost me if i bought one strand of every gemstone totally beads do says lucy lucy i could probably tell you because apart from the ones i've only just discovered are available i've probably got pretty much every gemstone known to man right so there's all sorts you can choose from that's going to be your trickiest part today if you've got any left over if you just wanted to do say one headband you're going to have enough chips to make yourself maybe a little elasticated stretch bracelet you could do a little tiger tail necklace like this so here i've got a full amethyst set i've got my gorgeous headband let me show you the difference in the headbands let me show you the different sizes now i haven't got all of them there's three different ones you can choose a four a six or eight this one is the four this one is the eight so you can see it looks much thicker but it just depends on you on what you find more comfortable to wear we'll move that out the way for a second and these are just some of the ones i've made up I've, I've, I've made probably so many of these. So you can see different thicknesses. We've got the garnet. And this is what we're saying about the garnet. The garnets to me are like more little nuggets than they are chips because they seem to have like a more rounder shape to them. Again, they are different sizes. Is garnet January? think it might be uh, Lucy says oh Natalie what's the yellow one called this one is the jade I don't know whether we've still got this one in stock but have a little look um there are other yellow colored ones it's very summery and bright and pretty that one isn't it this one's your amazonite which I just love it's kind of like a pale blue greeny color but obviously because they're natural stones you're getting some browns and things in there and some white colors as well i'm gonna have to get cracking because it's already 20 past 10 and i'm still talking gemstones um fluorite is one of my favorites you get in purples pinks blues whites this is all the same strand and type of gemstone but look at the mix of colours that you're getting in here. I have made my friend one pastel coloured before and I made a different mix running through it. So, as you can see, there's millions and millions, it feels like, to choose from. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to use the soda light. I'm going to roll up my sleeves and I am going to cut my strand. I'm going to cut it at both ends because I do want to get a little mix of sizes and things like that. Some I will think might not work perfect for the project because my hole might not be right in the right place where I want it, things like that. So it's nice to just scatter them out as you go. Now, as I say, I'm going to use about 200 centimetres of my 0.4 wire and it can be a little bit trickier first because obviously it's going to be long it's going to be dangling um but you do have to cut it from the reel usually i would if i'm using so much i try and keep it on the reel or i pop it on a bobbin because i'm going to be adding the gemstones on as i go i need this to be loose so always cut a little bit longer um it's just far easier to use one continuous strand than it is to reattach but it's not the end of the world if you do need to reattach it and then you're going to choose your headband base what one should i use should i use the eight? Oh, i can't decide i'll use the eight because it might be easier to show you in terms of where i'm placing things okay so where i usually start my headbands is a few centimeters up from the bottom i'm not starting right at the base I'm starting around here because that's going to fit around where the back of my ears start. I've got quite large ears, but we won't go into the childhood traumas of the nicknames I was called. I've grown into them. They do stick out. 
but I want these to feel comfortable behind my ear. So I'm not starting it right at the bottom. How many centimeters about is that? Okay, so this one started at about six. It's entirely up to you. You might just wanna place some across the top. It really doesn't matter. The only thing you need to do is make sure it's starting and finishing around the same point on the band. So it looks a little bit um, more symmetrical. I'm just reading this fabulous thing that Sue has shared. Look at that. Have a little look at Sue's comments. She's saying all the different um, different gemstones for each birthday month. Thank you, Sue. That is much appreciated. Ruth, I know what you mean today. Everybody, if you enjoy our tutorials, please hit the like button, the heart emoji, whatever it is. If you don't like it, then that's fine. I'll be heartbroken, but that's fine. So yeah, apply your DNA, which means touch the button. <laughs> right, okay. So to start, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, at the end of my wire, just a tiny little bit. You don't have to do this, but this is what I tend to do. I just bend it in a little bit just at the end and give that a little push down so i'm kind of making like a tiny loop now this won't stick out on your headband but if the wire does slightly move it's not going to scratch there's no sharp ends so i've just give that a little bend and all i'm going to do is start deciding where about i would like to start my wrap so i'm going to start it about here on this one and I'm going to place it flat and along in the middle of the underside of the base. I'm going to hold that with my thumb and I'm going to bend it round. And I'm just going to start coiling that wire around the headband. And what I'm gonna do as I'm wrapping it is I'm just gonna wrap, you can wrap as much as you want. I tend to wrap about, I don't know, a centimeter, but I'm just gonna start covering that end. Can you see? So I'm wrapping over that little flat bit that we put in the middle. And this is why you don't need any glue or anything on this. If you wanted to, you could add a little bit of clear glue um, just very lightly on the inside to hold it in place. But I've not glued any of mine. And as I say, my friends have been wearing the, theirs for about a year and there's been no issues. So I'm just coiling that round really easily. And if you want to, you can squish it together with your nails you can push it down with your pliers just to make it nice and neat and if you've got your nylon coated you could even give that a little press just to flatten that wire against the band so it's entirely up to you how many wraps you'd like to put on as I say, I tend to do around maybe a centimetre, just enough to cover that little part in the middle. Lucy says, I love headbands, but they hurt me after a while. It depends on the headband that you've got, doesn't it, Lucy? I I mean, I've had this one on all, on all morning, and to be honest, I kind of forget that I'm wearing it the chips don't get caught in my hair and there's not putting too much pressure behind me here. Um, but I have a nice black headband, which I really like. And I can only seem to wear that for a couple of hours before I seem to get like a bit of a headache with it. Okay, so I have wrapped that and I am quite happy that I have covered that starting point. And if you want to, you can still slide it up or down at this point too, but I'm happy where I've started. And then we are just going to add on our gemstones. So I'm trying not to get it too tangled, but obviously when I first start, 
I've got quite a lot of length on my wire. Um, so it can be a little bit tricky to begin with. What I'm going to do when I start, and this is just my personal preference, I'm going to pick out some of the smaller gemstones because I'd rather have the larger ones more prominent at the top of the band. And you can add, if you want, a few gemstones on at once or you can add them on one at a time. I'm going to slide a few on together and hopefully I won't get too tangled up. And it really doesn't matter, you know, which way round they go on. Sometimes try and look for the flatter side so it'll sit flat against the headband. And all I'm doing really is just checking that the hole is fairly central. Sometimes because they are irregular shaped, you might get a hole quite close to the edge of the stone. I'm sure I will come across one at some point, but here at the moment, I can't really find an example. But sometimes you might get a point which is a little bit thinner um, and I don't want it to, to crack. Um, so this one, for example, the hole is running, can you see, through the middle there? But it only gives me a tiny bit of surface area. Don't think you can really focus on that. So I'll probably not use that one. Mummy says, hello, Natalie. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mum. Mum can vouch for me that I make a lot of these for people, a lot of gifts. Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to place my first stone onto the headband. I'm going to hold it with my thumb. I'm going to wrap that round. And I'm going to try and wrap it quite tight because although there will be a little bit of jiggle and a little bit of movement, I'd like them quite taut. And I'm just going to wrap twice. You can wrap three, four, five, however many you want. I'm just going to do two in the middle before I add my next gemstone and I'm kind of holding it so it's sitting quite flat against that band. Again I'm wrapping once, wrapping twice and on the third time I'm adding my next stone, holding it with my thumb. I'm not going to put too much pressure on it, I don't want it to snap. It's a really good gauge of wire to work with because it is sturdy enough um, that it's got the strength in it, but it also looks thin enough that it's going to be the gemstones that are taking precedence and focus rather than the wire itself. But again, it's, it's up to you in terms of preference. I find the 0 0.5 is what I prefer to use on a headband. Um, you might want to use a 0 0.4, you might want to use thinner, thicker, but I find the 0 0.5 is the best. Just going to move that one out of the way because it's catching on the tail. So as you can see, already this is building up nice and quickly. Really easy, just wrapping it round and adding on the next one. So I'm going to add another few onto the end of my wire and I'm going to have a little look through the comments why I do that. Victoria, you are going to have so much fun doing these. They are stunning and I would very much like if you are making them for yourself to pop a little picture in the group and model one for us as well if you don't mind. She says she's ordered loads. Um, is that the widest headband? Yes, this one is the eight um, millimeter one. You can get it in the four, you can get it in the six as well. I think I prefer the, the four, to be honest. Um, I think the, the gemstones look, I mean, it depends on the gemstones that you're using. The amethyst are really delicate looking. So I think they fill the thinner one a little bit better. Um, your garnets are 
quite chunky so i think they look better on the wider one i'm only really demoing on this size one because i thought it might be easier with it being a little bit thicker for the camera to pick up what i'm doing and to demo and show you it mina says wow i love sapphire stones um you can get different grades of gemstone obviously if you're gonna get um like an a grade cut and clarity you will be paying a lot of money um for something like a sapphire but i actually have some sapphires in my collection um which aren't that expensive at all because they're you know it as i say it depends on the cut and the quality i suppose of it still a gorgeous blue i'm hoping i did cut off enough wire there i wasn't paying that much attention i didn't measure it out i think i just did two arm spans but we should have enough i can always move it up if i need to um Oh, Angela says she's made some like this before. And we're having, um, is it suitable to build freestanding daisies on the bands? I make them for May religious events. Victoria, that would be beautiful. Um, yeah, I don't see why not. These headbands are perfect for wiring anything really onto them. You could make lovely beaded ones. You could make a nice large focal um, daisy in your case, whatever you like. Okay, so I'm just adding more on. As I say, you can add them on one at a time, but I find it a little bit easier to thread a few onto the end of my wire. And I'm not paying much attention to um, the size of, that I'm picking up. As I say, I tend to use the slightly smaller ones. Just trying to find where the hole is on that one. Um, towards the edges and the slightly larger ones on the um, center. All I'm doing there is just looking to see which side of the stone is maybe a little flatter um just to sit that nicely on the headband okay so again next one on holding it in place with my thumb and what's lovely about wrapping a headband is you've got that hole in the middle where it, it it's opened so it's really easy and quite quick to just thread on and position. Sometimes if you're wrapping something which is on like a, a closed loop type of thing, like a, a full circle, you're trying to weave in and out, but this is just very simple winding. And as I say, you know, you can put as many winds in between as you want to, you can put them as close together if you if you want. You can spread them out a little bit. Um, it, it's completely personal preference. Just keeping hold of the other ones in my hand. Popping it in the kind of direction I want it to, to land, so to speak, and to sit on the headband. Holding it with my thumb. Drop the next one down. And add on some more. Question, in case we run short of the wire, how would you recommend um, to add the wire in the middle of the project? I will try and do that on purpose for you so I can show you. You would finish it as you normally would, and then you would start it 
again as you normally would but I would try and do less wraps and maybe try and hide your wraps underneath you won't see them because your gemstone can sit on top of that so it's really not the end of the world I just find it a little bit easier um, to do that so what I'll do is I'll show you how to finish it and then we can always add a little bit extra on just as we did when we started it so i'm gonna add a few more on i mean look at the difference in the color you've got one which looks almost completely white one which is blue with white bits on a really darker looking blue one and that i, I love the kind of irregularity of the gemstone oh this one's got a double hole i could decide which side to go through hmm. just pick another one saves me um and r in look at the color of that one how pretty so no two headbands are going to be the same and even if you're using the same stones because each one is slightly different each one will be unique look at the color of that one <laughs> I'm, I'm just never not amazed by them okay so again popping the ones i've threaded on in my hand holding them down while i just wrap twice Drop the other one in place. Gonna hold it with my thumb and wrap round. It is that straightforward and that simple. You don't have to worry too much about, um, you know, how neat your wraps are. I would try and do them quite tight around the band, but I can show you how to tighten them up at the end as well. If, you know, sometimes your gemstone might move um, and then there's been a thicker part or a thinner part. I am going to show you how to attach it on if you run out of wire. So I'm going to finish it here and start again for you. So I would add on my gemstone as usual, leaving myself, you know, if I know I'm going to run out, and I'm not going to quite get to where I need. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it the same. Only this time I'm not going to wrap it quite as tight. And you can't see this on the video. But I'm just leaving a little bit more of a gap underneath. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that end. Little tail end of my wire. And I'm going to post that through. Can you see without the headband being in the way? I'm just posting that underneath those looser wraps that I've done. And you only need to poke them through a couple. And then when I pull that back, what I've done is created like a little knot, like a little wire knot. And I say you can add a little bit of glue onto this if you want to. But all I tend to do is trim it and tuck it back through and then with my pliers or my nylon i don't know am i showing you this properly can you see it's tricky with the other side of the band getting into shot just gonna flatten that down That would be what I was doing if I was finishing it a little bit early because I don't want that many extra wraps here. However, if I was finishing it at the same point, and you know, you can slide them and move them if you did only want to, you know, do that many. So it's kind of central. But if you want to finish it off here, I would carry on as I was, get to this part, wrap them a little bit looser, and I would do the same amount of wraps I mean, it wouldn't have to be exact, but I'd say, okay, that's half a centimetre. So I'll wrap about half a centimetre there as well. So if we're going to add some more on, I would take more of my wire, 
you're going to do probably another arm's length there. And exactly the same as I started. You could even poke it underneath this bit if you want. So I'm going to just turn it that way. You can fold it over if you need to, or you can just make a little, it's like a little L shape that you're putting in it, I suppose. Just because I want to wind over that bit. So I'm just attaching that extra bit of wire. And then I'm going to slide it up a little bit. So you're not going to see where I've started that again. Because it's going to hide under this gemstone and the next one that I'm popping on. So I say it's really not the end of the world if you do run out of wire. All I'm going to do is I'm going to give that tiny little trim. And I'm just going to wrap over to make sure nothing's poking out there. I'm going to flatten it. You can flatten it with any pliers. Your nylon coated is always a good one. And then just carry on adding your gemstones as you were. Hello, my love. This is my friend Tracy and she has one of my, well, one of hers now. Uh, it was gifted to you, wasn't it, lovely, last Christmas? Was it Christmas, your birthday? I think it was Christmas that I gave it to you. Um, so she can vouch um, that, that, that they're lovely. They're lovely gifts to receive. I don't think she was just being kind. I do spot her wearing it quite regularly. Okay, so I'm just adding on a few more. And it's still working exactly the same on this new wire that I've added. I am holding it in place. I'm going to use this gemstone quite close up to cover that wrap so you won't see where I've added on that extra wire. Wrapping it tight again. Two loops, drop down the next one, hold it in place with my finger. And all I'm doing is just pushing them up a little bit as well as I go. So they're sitting nice together. And you don't need to give it much thought. You don't need to pay it too much attention. It's just a nice, simple project with a lovely look. And you can see how much quicker I'm getting as well as I do it. Okay, so when I'm at this stage now, I'm just looking to see how much more I need to do. I think I need to add on a couple more just to get it around the same length. I don't know what's going on outside. I think we've got like this street sweeper going past my house. He never, um, he never comes into where my drive is because, do you know, my car's usually in the way. Don't know whether that is what it is. There's, I don't know whether you can hear. There's um, a lot of commotion going on. Have I added too many there? Mm, no, I think that might be okay. I'll just push them up close to each other. 
Okay, so I am wrapping twice, drop it down, twice. Just pushing it up a little bit with my fingers. Oh, Lucy says, Tracy, welcome to the live tutorials. It's um, it's very odd when I see someone. I've seen someone from school um, that I've not seen for absolute years. And they said, oh, I've seen your tutorials. I forget that, that the world's watching. Okay, I'm quite happy with the size there. I've made these a little bit looser on this side just to show you a little technique if that happens, if you're not wrapping as tight. So I'm gonna say that's about even and I'm gonna start to wrap with no gemstone chips. So as I start to wrap, I'm just gonna make these wraps a little bit looser than I was doing while attaching my chips because I wanted my gemstones to kind of stay in place. You do have a little bit of movement to them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap and I can push this up again in a bit. When I'm happy with the amount that I've got on there that matches the other side. I'm going to chop any excess that I've got, not too much, just enough to be able to kind of get this to focus. Can you see? All I'm doing is I'm threading that down through a few of those wraps and then I'm pulling it back on itself so I've made like a little knot it's really hard with the reflection to show you so this is that tail end just coming through and back on itself and then I'm going to chop a little bit more off and give that a little bend and tuck that in So I'm giving it a little bend with my flat nose pliers and I, you could even use your fingers if it's easier. I'm tucking that back underneath and then I'm just going to give it with my pliers or my nylon coated a little flattened down. little push up. There you go. Now, if you, like I have around here, can you see? I don't know whether you can. Some of the wires aren't fit, sitting as flush and as tight to the headband here as they could be. And that doesn't matter. But if you wanted to, with your pliers, we're going to just very gently put a little twist in some of them that I think could be like this one. Wouldn't want that to catch in your hair. So I'm just going to give it a little twist. And I'm putting very gently, not much pressure. I don't want to snap any wires. Just going to put a little bit of a bend in it and that will tighten them up. Can you see that? You won't see any of it when it's being worn, but I think that one could do with just ever so tightening up a little bit. So by just putting a little twist, just a little motion like that, very gently, I'm just tightening up any that I think could do with it being a little bit more flush to the headband and there it is 
as easy as that. They look nice, but I'm pernickety. I don't like seeing the wire on the hairband, says Diane. I mean, if you wanted to, you could add, I don't know, a little bit of um, felt or something onto it if need be. Um, but I really don't think you can see that much of the wire um, with it matching the band itself. You can see it a little bit up here. If I was to make myself big again, when you're wearing it, obviously I've started it behind my ears. So my hair falls over that. You can't really see. I will take this one off and I will show you the thicker one. I like them. No, I don't. I love them. Um, so there you go. That's how easy it is. Um, Diane says, it's just me, Natalie. Everyone's personal, pre personal preference, Diane. Um, and that's what, you know, is the love of jewellery, isn't it? And the love of making. This, I think, is something a little bit different because, um, you know, as I say, if you wanted to, you can make your gem stretch um, elasticated bracelets. You can make a tiger tail necklace. Um, but I don't see many of these about. Um, and, you know, you've made it by hand that just if you are gifting it to someone just gives that little extra touch, I think. Um, and, you know, times are hard, aren't they, in terms of, you know, having money for gifts and extravagant purchases. These look, I think, really high quality and they are really high quality and they look expensive. But depending on the gemstones that you choose. You can make one of these probably for a couple of quid. What your hairband is um, a pound and there is a three for two on them today. Um, your wire is that two pounds fifty, I think, yeah, two pounds fifty. And your gemstones, you know, you can be picking gemstones up for three pounds and how many you're going to be able to make as well. You could just do a little section at the top if you wanted. You could bead and gemstone and bedazzle it all the way around. It's entirely up to you. You're getting an awful lot of product, I think, for today. Um, Victoria says, a tip. If you know the person, it is measure for the distance between the ears to avoid the headband catching on the ears, glasses and hearing aids. That is a good tip. Um, as I say, I tend to start mine not quite at the ends. And it sits, this one I've started higher up. So the gemstones start about there. So that's way above my ears. But usually I will start them and it might just start here. So I can't feel anything really other than a little bit of the band, which is nice and wide and nice and comfortable um, behind my ears on my head. Um, Victoria says, uh, tiaras are nice around buns, etc. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted, you could you could wear it that way, couldn't you? You could make it all fancy. You could bead upwards um these are simple you can wear them every day you could wear them for something a little bit special don't go to any festivals anymore um but i think they'd be be really lovely for a festival really nice for a wedding really nice for a christmas party or just like me this afternoon where i'm in my house just packing um so that's how easy and lovely they are thank you so much for joining me today um i will see you um I won't see you Friday. I'll be watching on Friday on the train, probably on the way down. Um, so Kitty's with you Friday. On Sunday, I'll probably be loitering in the back of um, Kitty Robinson Designs. And on Monday, you will see me and Kitty um, for a little bit of double trouble and double the fun. Um, and that that's it. So... Um, Diane says, which elastic do you use for bracelets? Um, it depends on what I'm making usually. Um, I tend to use a round elastic because I just find it's easier. If I'm using gem chips, it's easier to get through, um, for me, the kind of regular holes. Um, floss is great too, I suppose. It just sometimes it can fray a little bit. Um, so yeah it it 
it, it's trial and error to be honest depending on on what stone or what um gem chips i'm using um diane you are most welcome lucy asks are you staying down for a week and not just the weekend um bless him i don't think my husband could or i don't think frank my son could cope with his dad on his own for that long so i'll be down uh friday morning and i'll be going back heading home on monday afternoon so just for the weekend um we're going to be very very busy we've got so much to do and i'm so excited uh thank you all for your suggestions if you have commented on one of the posts suggesting things that you might like things for the 12 days of christmas um i know it's um been said but it really is a great help and i'm looking forward to seeing all of your ideas and hopefully make them happen for you um so thank you we might see you in b club then says lucy you might just do yeah um yeah i'll be hiding in the back <laughs> or just peering over a shoulder or talking all the way through it and distracting you all <laughs> okay i love you all millions love and light have a lovely week and i will see you soon take care bye